Ground Station. Maintain visual. Roger that. Speedbird doing one heavy turn left. Next into ramp, Ground Point Niner, please. Okay, Speedbird. Wait, another brake slide. Continental shelf. This, it's okay. Why are you so nervous? Oh, I don't know. Just relax and enjoy it. There's poetry here. Speedbird, this is Admiral Falco. Are you done with the canvassing? The survey is negative. Radar is negative. The vast wasteland, Admiral. There's no one around. Remember, Lieutenant, this mission is classified. Should there be any trouble, the government will deny its existence. They cut the engine. down bubble. Depth at 800 feet. Banking left, heading 300. Getting into position. Ready to deploy LFAS. On my mark. Three, two, one. Deploy. Speedbird 2 Admiral, LFAS has landed and is operational. You should be receiving signals in five, four, three, two, one. Signals are reached. Do you copy that? This is amazing. Are we recording this? Uh, the cameras two and three are active. Wait. What, what, what's Something's going on with the sonar. Lieutenant, what's the status on the LFAS? Sonar levels at 120 decibels and climbing, sir, reaching 130, 140, 150. Climbing, sir, they're reaching higher. 160. What happened? I don't know. Wait, what's that noise? That's the story. She's been hit. Shh. What? That rumble? Shh. No, we're going to get out of here. Shh. It's the whales. No, it's not. Something's messing up the whales' migration pattern. Like the music. No, something stronger. Damn it, what was I thinking? Whales don't travel in such big groups. Glacier walls, they're killing themselves. Damn it, think, think, think. There it is. The transmitter, son of a bitch, it's an LFAS. A what? A low frequency active sonar. They're illegal, they're not supposed to be using these. The wall is shifting. Thank <laughs> you. 
official? The thing is, Mr. Havey, here in Japan, they have certain customs. Yeah, customs. We have customs in the States, too. Like urinating on coworkers? Haven't you guys ever been to a rat party? You're taking this way too seriously. My men feel I've been disrespected. Look, I understand you're upset. We got a bunch of crazy pale faces pissing in your little blue. But here's the thing. Bigger things are going on here. Bigger than our own little problems. So I promise you, if we can just have a sense of humor about this, Look, the point is, as long as we have a sense of humor about this thing, everything's gonna work out, I promise. <laughs> one I've ever been through, that's for sure. Yeah, and also I... I what? I don't know, I, I thought I saw something, something else out there. Did you? What? Never mind. Must be losing my mind. Hey, what's with the suits? Federal land? Maybe Shenmu was a spy. You coming? No way. After our stunt, the boss man wants my job. I'm staying right here. Oh, you're such a wuss. You're okay. You hear me? You got it. Whoa, whoa. You're late, McNeil. Yeah, I know. It's the third time this week. Couldn't sleep, Dick. Get pills, huh? What a mess. That's your professional opinion? Propeller. It's tanker set. It's the only explanation for a wound that size. Looks like the same type of injury found on that great white up the coast. What I mean? Any kind of career advancement. Poor guy. Weird. Does anyone have any forceps? I want to get sampled. What's going on? Tears in his flesh didn't come from anything mechanical. This wound's organic. Organic? Christ. Emma, do you know how you sound? You name one thing in that ocean that causes damage like that. Besides you. Look, I didn't steal the dory. I just borrowed it. Yeah, half a million dollars of damage to the mini so that you borrowed. The board is furious. There were over 50 of them, Dick, going nuts. Whales don't behave like that. You were like off that. course. You were wandering around places you shouldn't even be. Yeah, and thank God I was. Otherwise, we never would have discovered the effects of the cell. Quiet. Now listen. My ass is on the line. Do you hear me? Now I suggest you go home and you think about what you did. There's a review board meeting in the morning. You know I'm right, Dick. There's something big out there. Something really big. We should gather some samples. Pack it up. We have our answer. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just allergic to men in suits. Yeah, I hear you. What happened out there? Nothing. Let's get a drink. Burns me up. It's all about the dory. All about the damage. Screw them. Those guys are all about the money. They can't see the big picture. Of course not. They're not mermaids like you. Yeah, well, this mermaid is getting canned. They're not gonna decide anything tonight. <laughs> no, they'll fire me in the morning. Which doesn't give me a whole lot of time. For what? 
Now that, that's the same look you gave me when we stole the sub. Borrowed. Oh, hey, I'm here to see the body. No one notified me of this. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. I was home watching the game. We should get overtime for this late night shit, don't you think? <laughs> I heard that. Thanks, hon. You better hurry with whatever you're doing in there. The boys are going to tow it out to open sea tonight. You know before it explodes. Shimada with the Oceanographic Institute. I'm here to talk to you. Who's lying? Who's lying? Everyone. You're saying it was a construction failure? I saw it on TV before they burst in and grabbed it. I know. And they're saying everyone was killed. Everyone. No survivors. How can they fucking say that when I'm sitting right here? Try to stay calm. Calm? My family thinks I'm dead and these fuckers won't even let me call them. Takeo, your family will soon be put at ease. But you must cooperate. These people can be very unpleasant when they don't get their way. Believe me, I know. You're not with these people? As I said, I'm a scientist. And the actual facts of what you experienced are something I'd very much like to discuss with you. Looked into its eyes. What did it look like? Please, show me. It's just in our pocket. Thank you. I'm getting married in two days. It'll be fine. All right, folks. Please fasten your seatbelts. Holy shit! You're a good surveyor. You just need a little discipline, that's all. Want some advice? Nope. Don't love the ocean too much. It doesn't love you back.
Professor Sanders. <laughs> Emma, oh. Emma McNeil, as I live and breathe. How long has it been? Like five years? Five years. That's too long to be away from my favorite student. What's with this professor jazz? You know, you once dragged my drunken arse out of the gutter, and that puts us squarely in the familiar. Oh God, it's just I'm kind of messed up right now. Well, tell me about it. Sounds like you need to look at the Irish. Are you sure you're all right, Lassie? I mean, you look a little tired. Well, I was just fired by the Institute, Lamar. And I'm pretty sure I'm being followed. By whom? The feds. Ah, oh, the bloody feds. They'll hound you till you're leaking from every orifice. Hey, don't worry, Emma. I won't let those bastards harm a hair on your head. I see you brought the uh, lab with you. Anything you want me to look at? <laughs> Funny you should ask. You say you stole this from the site. Well, let's get to it, chum. Have one hell of a smile. <laughs> How big? Ten by eleven. Inches? Jesus. Feet. Feet? Crazy. Who do you think it belongs to? Well, I don't know. You're the ex-Navy paleontologist guru. Yeah, well, that's true enough. Well, without making too much of a Hail Mary about it, I'd say it belongs to one pretty old fella. Prehistoric. A dinosaur? You've got to be kidding me. Why so doubtful? Now look, didn't I always Good teach you? Good to doubt, better to dig. I know, you're such a hippie. Yeah, I'm proud of it. Yeah, say hello to Megalodon. Meaning Big Tooth. Lived 18 million years ago and was the apex predator of its time. It became extinct... 1.5 million years ago, largest carnivorous fish ever known to have existed. Yeah, and quite possibly the largest shark ever to have lived. Fossil evidence has revealed, by yours truly, that Megalodon fed upon large marine animals, including whales. Wait a minute, are you trying to tell me that a prehistoric extinct shark ate my whale? Oh, clearly not extinct. That's impossible. Are you sure about that? I can't turn on the TV without hearing about another unexplained ocean disaster. Yeah, unexplained doesn't mean resurrected prehistoric sea monsters. Why? Sightings of giant sea monsters have persisted throughout the centuries. Hell, when I was driving subs to the man, I even saw one myself. You never told me that. Yeah, well, students are such a cynical bunch. I'd already been booted by the Fed. I couldn't risk being booted by the university. And besides, they wouldn't believe me anyway. Yeah? Dr. Shimada, so nice to finally put a voice to the man. Dr. Shimada, heard all about your wild diving bell experiments. Fantastic. I would consider running a grounded nuclear submarine to avoid hitting a dolphin. A bit more on the wild side, Dr. Sanders. Actually, it was a pot of dolphin. So that's why you got kicked out of the Navy. May I present my former student, Emma McNeil? The brilliant oceanographer and pilot in her own right. Doctor? Sage, pleased to meet you. Shall we? Well, imagine my surprise when I learned your government wanted my help. Well, Dr. Sanders, technically speaking... Oh, uh, please, Lamar. Well, Lamar, technically speaking, it is not my government requesting your help. It is me. All the more flattering. And 
Diplomatically speaking, I am not here at all. Despite many news reports, no one is coming forward with the actual cause. This is largely due to the lack of any reliable physical evidence, photographic or otherwise. And the fact that were any such data to come to light, the government would almost certainly cover it up in an attempt to prevent global panic. Well, they're scared. They're totally unprepared for a disaster of this scale. And by the time they come to face the reality of the situation, it will be too late. Which is precisely why I've come. To determine what exactly we're dealing with and what to do about it. It's not what I was expecting. Not from the character of the attacks. And what exactly is the nature of your attack? The kind of damage we sustained is not compatible with the physiology of Megalodon. I did manage to speak with one of the only survivors of our most recent attacks, before my government locked him away indefinitely. I like to consider these police identity sketches. Notice the eye, enormous, with a huge slit-shaped pupil. I agree, this is definitely not the eye of a shark. No, more like a... Let's see who it is. It's for you. Me? Who knows I'm here? No return address. Sub camera. Vince must have dropped us off. Who? My friend Vince. He was there with me at the incident. What incident? Oh my God! I thought I imagined that. Definitely a shark. Megalodon. This friend here. Same as the drawing. I suspect it. What, giant squid? Octopus. Fish and chip? I'm trying to go veg. Vince was smart to send you the videotape rather than go to the authorities. Yeah, well, he would have known I'd come to you. I talk about you often enough. Feel bad now for giving them such poor grades. <laughs> One thing's for certain, we now have half the equation. Photographic evidence. Well, that's definitely an informed base from which to respond. <sighs> Amazing. Two prehistoric creatures suddenly and mysteriously unleashed upon the world. Maybe not so mysteriously. Polar ice caps are melting because of our thoughtlessness. Maybe, maybe this is our come up. Down the indicates 150 feet vertical clearance and lower. We're on the last leg of the sweep now, sir. Nothing as of yet. Give the president my personal assurance. When we find the beast, we're sending him to hell. Contact! A thousand yards of closing! Battle station, battle station! All ahead, full. All ahead, right. base rudder. Execute plan Delta. Repeat, execute plan Delta. 500 yards, still closing! Intercept plot locked, start target is in the zone. Commence firing. Repeat, Repeat. commence firing. Don't let up. Send that big bastard down for the deep six.
Target's disappeared, sir. You mean destroyed. Target's destroyed. No, sir, I'm not getting anything at all. He's using a residual... Radio tool. Washington. Target destroyed. But, sir... Target return. It rises. Rise and shines, maybe he had. Seiji, coffee? Yes, please. Sugar? Yes. You got it. Hey! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! 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 Morning! How can I assist you, John? Not very feng shui, is it? Same lighting as Guantanamo, I believe. I feel very secure. Oh, don't look so worried, Dr. Shimada. You're not going to Manzanar. No, Manzanar was for Americans. Very good, Miss McNeil. I suppose you're wondering why we rescued you from your lovely slumber. Let me guess, our country needs you. Cupid doll for the Irishman. Actually, I was wondering, what took you so long? Well, we like to exhaust all possibilities before calling up the minor leaguers. What? Blood and thunder plan go in the dumper. Now, clearly, we're dealing with a menace that no one has ever imagined, much less counted on like Hurricane Katrina. Very good. And funny, Dr. Shimada. Do you realize your Japanese government has given us full authority over your destiny? Your very existence is in my hands. Unless, of course, you want to commit a, a Harry Carey or some shit. That is so wrong. And you, little lady, so out of mouth coming from someone whose career is all washed up, sleeping on your old prof's couch. What's next? A little extra credit to pay the rent? Hey! Cool it, hombre. You should be smiling. This country actually gives a shit about what you have to say. Twenty years ago, my ideas were treated with disdain and discharge. Why should you give a shit now? Well, truth be told, you losers beat everyone to the punch. You said shark. When everyone around here was talking seismic suction or some shit. So, uh, what do you want from us? Solutions. Now, if we don't find a viable means of stopping this fucker, Sharkzilla is gonna own the seas. He own the seas, he own the world. Limey's in the spix, got that right. What? I'm an equal opportunity racer. Now, these red zones indicate strikes on military vessels. These indicate strikes on civilians, private vessels. I'll give you a tip for nothing. Megalodon don't discriminate. Yes, he's an equal opportunity eating machine. And he ain't alone. Whoa, what the? Octopus. <laughs> Frozen together. Now acting independently. Unless you're thinking that Sharky was teleporting from one side of the globe to the other, I think you'll find it fits your disaster timeline. A giant octopus. That's crazy. We've been discussing possible means of containment. You mean destruction? No, we mean containment. Yes, these creatures are a threat, but they also represent the most significant scientific discovery of our time. You can't just annihilate that. 
And we want your assurance that you will do everything within your power to entrap these creatures. And you do, do you? Mm -hmm. And in return? You'll have our full support. Indeed. Professor Sanders and I both agree isolating these creatures in low shelf areas would enable us to possibly capture and contain them. Yeah. San Francisco Bay and Tokyo Bay represent the best options for this scenario. Think of it as a corral. And how do you propose we get these things to their ideal location? Send them an evite? We're working on it. We'll work fast. Naval intelligence indicates these things are on a continual war path. They don't rest. They just kill. Head-to-head -head combat is futile, so figure out this lure thing pronto. Have a look. Sure. How are you holding up? It's not easy being brilliant under armed guard. From what I know, you're no stranger to pressure. Joyriding an experimental sub in an ice blow seems kind of tense. Yeah, well, I, I was always drawn to the water. Always felt like a part of it. Me too. Didn't matter how rough or stormy or how big the waves were. Never scared me. Me too. My family were all fishermen. Lived on the water. Lived because of the water. They all wanted me to follow in their footsteps. Why didn't you? Too much death. I saw a dolphin caught in a net when I was a kid. I couldn't free it. The panic in its eyes, the helplessness. That was it. I never got past putting a worm on the hook. Take a walk. You know, a, a walk? Cues help us zero in on optimal partners. 
The smell may even explain why we feel chemistry with one person and not another. You say the most romantic things. Seriously? <laughs> they say physical attraction itself may literally be based on smell. What? Pheromones. My God, are you thinking that we... Pheromones, the, the attraction, we can use it to draw them in. Yes! <laughs> I taught her everything she knows. Before we order the cake and the balloons, does somebody want to tell me what the hell's going on? The scent? The biological power of the scent. You know, pheromones, the attractant that connects all species, it's the source of all procreation, the ultimate magic. Basically, we bait San Francisco and Tokyo Bays with the respective pheromones for each beast. The shark and the octopus detect the scent and are drawn in, thinking there's a mate awaiting. Tragic, actually. How can we be so sure that they're going to take the bait? Those guys have been frozen in ice for millions of years. Wouldn't you be a little horny? Think of it like dropping breadcrumbs. We plant a series of these out at sea, luring our friend right into the San Francisco Bay. We can use UAV technology to strategically place that bait, plot a path that leads it right to the trap. And what, may I ask, is your trap exactly? Oh, you can ask. What about the people of San Francisco? Can they ask? What they don't know. If you need help baiting the hook, give us a holler. I will. Lucky for us, my government magically produced the necessary octopus flesh samples. They've been hiding it like it was the Ark of the Covenant. At least they didn't destroy it. I feel like we just started getting to know one another. I know. All this darkness, you were the one ray of light. I just hope that... If it's faded. We'll see each other again. You sure you're gonna be all right? Of course. Always best to do battle on, how do you Americans say it, one's own turf. Yeah. <laughs> I'll you from Tokyo. Good luck. Sayonara. Come on, Juliet, back to work. Squad 7, this is Tango Delta 9, or I spotted something. Squad 7, this is Tango Delta 9, or we spotted something. This could be it, people. Shark or squid? Octopus. Hard to say. They are both roughly the same size. But the image is fading. Tango Delta, reduce altitude immediately. Sir, we're flying at breakpoint altitude. Any lower could endanger the mission. Endanger the mission? You mean endanger yourself? But, sir. Get down there and get a proper beat on that beast, or I'll have your wings, Colonel. Roger that. That's the point. Going any lower would. Would, would go... have him do the job that he's been paid to do. About time these flyboys earn their keep. Blackbird's ascending to elevation 650. Copy that. Ha, see? How low is that plane flying? About 100 feet off the deck, close enough to get pictures. Pull up! What? Get him to pull up now! Mayday, mayday, sir, I'm going down! Lock in his last position. No! Prepare a fire series. Fire! Firing! Missiles away! Target gone, sir. Yeah, along with the plane. Now that we've set the bait, how long before these things get a whiff? On his current course and speed, I say he hits the first one in about five hours. Mm. And home plate? We'll place our hero lore here. 
Farthest point from civilian activity. The shelf forms a natural recess, kind of like a large overhang cave. You back that thing up against that wall, he'll have nowhere to go. And what about delivery? We place it ourselves. I don't want these SEAL guys gumming this up. Now, you're putting me between a rock and a hard place here. Last time he had the stick, he ran it up into a sandbar. $50 million moving violation. At least, uh, you salvaged yours. I'll get it then. I just heard from Seiji. The octopus is headed towards Tokyo, and our shark is on its way here. You all right? Yeah. You? You have to be very careful out there, Lassie. I know. We're going into their world now. Their pond. They've got the advantage. It's strange. I've always seen myself as an observer of nature, a scientist, not a soldier. Well, in a perfect world, that would be the case. But every scientist faces something like this sooner or later, when to interfere for the greater good. I keep thinking about Einstein and Oppenheimer, the magnitude of it, the destruction. This is a big one, all right. But make no mistake, Emma, what we do here it's necessary and right. I'm just so glad you could be here with me, Lamar. I don't know how I could have done it without you. Sure you would. I'm proud of you, Emma. I've always been proud of you. But never more than at this moment. Attached. Copy that. Prepare to untether. On my mark. Three, two, one. Disengage tether. Nice and smooth. How's the fan to be back behind the wheel? Jitters? We could be going up against Megalodon. Jitters? I freaking love it. Shelf in a hundred meters. Right. I'll get on the arm. Fifty meters. Got it. In position. Copy. Inches or her starboard. Copy. Steady now. Stand by to release. Standing by. Okay. Let her go. 
I said let her go. Yeah, I know. I heard you. What are you doing? Things jam. You two lovebirds want to quit jerking off and drop that thing? Haven't you been listening? Genius, the arm's frozen. Sir. What? Target on warpath, sir. Past the first two lures and following projected course. How long before he reaches the bay? Speed's greatly accelerated, sir. Almost tripled. All right, listen, you two. Sharkzilla is going to be in your lap in about five minutes. So figure out a way to drop that thing or abandon ship. Ship's got no anchor. We abandon ship. It can drift right into Fisherman's Wharf. Or out into the middle of the bay. Now, if you want to entomb him, it's got to be here. We'll figure it out. We're running out of time. Always dug bumper cars. Whoa! Easy, Emmy. You're going to smack the thing. Things chrome steel. Uh-oh. Target speed accelerated to 500 knots, sir. Christ, he's coming faster than a jet. Try pitching up like a... I'm trying! We're stuck! ETA, two minutes. Admiral Scott, ETA, two minutes. Time to corral the horses. Move them in position. Aye, aye, sir. Nemo, I repeat, Nemo. Listen, screw these environmentalists. When I give the command, shoot to kill. He lost the arm. Who cares? Throw it. Target inside the perimeter. Inside the ring, sir. Wait for the command. Wait for the command. Wait for the command. Sir. Impossible to see, sir. Hit him again. Anything? Still no reading on the target, sir. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Repeat. Target destroyed. Woo! Who wants shark skin boots? Sir, I'm picking up a reading. Some action, sir. Base of action, sir. Sir! Target lost, sir. Off all scopes. Give me Shimada, Tokyo. I sincerely hope you've had more success in San Francisco than we've had here in Tokyo. Shimada, what's happening? 
As you can see, we effectively lured the octopus into the bay. But our military has only succeeded in angering it. Like a cornered dog, it's even more vicious than ever. Madness. Target changing course, sir. Wait a minute. It appears the beast is now on the run. My god. What have we done? Tell me, what success have you had with the shark? Very little, I'm afraid. Sir, the octopus has gone from the scope. Then we have much more to do. Are Ms. McNeil and Professor Sanders all right? Yeah, we're all right. Yeah, but the city's in shambles. Thousands of people are dead. W what the fuck happened? Hey, stand down or you're going to the brig. She's going nowhere, and you know it. She's the only thing about this off that worked. Seiji, what happened? We had some trouble. The bait relay worked, just like you said, Emma. But once he entered the bay... They flopped. The octopus sustained multiple hits from both artillery and missiles to little effect. Same here. It appears our weapons have very little effect. Conventional weapons. So what are you suggesting? Perhaps it's time to consider something more all-encompassing. What, nuke? Yeah. I don't believe I'm hearing this. Nor I. I do. It's the military <sighs> default hey, setting. civilian casualties have already skyrocketed on both sides of the world. What, and you want to add to that? Nuclear weapons may be our only viable option. And that's what I'm recommended to Washington before we have a global catastrophe on our hands. Do you really think you'd do this? He's on the phone to the Pentagon right now. This cannot be allowed to happen. The effects of multiple underwater nuclear explosions would be catastrophic. The devastation of marine life unimaginable, and miles of oceans would be poisoned with fallout. Also, the potential for coastal damage and human casualties is extremely high. Plus, massive tidal waves. Then we better think of something else fast. I suggest we all get some rest and reconvene. Nothing can be accomplished in a state of exhaustion. in Manila. Come again? We'll get them to kill each other. I don't like it. Look, the same battle they were frozen in millions of years ago will be the battle that finishes them off. It's simple. Brilliant, Emma. Wait a second. Can I interrupt this love fest for a minute? How do you propose we get these two things together? We implement the same pheromone lure procedure we used earlier. It was the only aspect that worked perfectly. OK. Say they do come together. What's going to guarantee they're going to duke it out? To the death, no less. It's in their nature. They're natural-born enemies. The fact that they were frozen mid-combat makes that clear. Look, as the Ice Age descended, animals panicked. They ran for their lives, but not these guys. These guys chose to stay and fight to the end. Only a hate stronger than their combined survival instincts could force such a result. That hate is our last chance. Indeed, the laws of physics apply. Each possesses a strength that dwarfs our own military might. But turn their respective destructive powers against one another and bam. They cancel each other out. Yeah, but we got one small problem. What do we see up there? Anybody? Nothing. Score one from his fancy pants. They're running silent and they're running deep. The SR-71 spy planes are picking up zilch. And even if we do get a blip on the screen, they move so fast we can't get a fix on them. They're adapting. And restless. All marine life accelerates under duress. A school official moved three times normal speed when agitated. Yeah, we're pissing them off. Yeah, well, they're pissing me off, along with all the leaders of the free world. They got complete run of the ocean now, just what we wanted to avoid. All shipping is at a standstill. Oil can't move. There's only one course of action. Put to sea and air them out. Shove the bait 
right under their noses. They'll pick up where they left off. All we need to do is get them in the rain. What rain? Somewhere far from civilization. Somewhere where all they can do is harm each other. I assume you have submarines patrolling out there now. Yeah, all wolf packs on high alert. The Japs are doing the same thing. Then get us in a tin can with our pheromone lures and get us out there. The effectiveness of the lure has much to do with the disbursement pattern, Captain. It is essential that the system pulse every 15 minutes. Understood. Pheromone disbursement is up and running as of 0900. Thank you, Captain. Need to go to sick bay? No, no, the uh, the drum meet's gonna kick in soon. More bells and whistles on that sucker now. Yeah. Used to drive way back Washington class Polaris missiles. Wow, old school. Dr. Sanders, pheromone release is working five by five. Excellent. Now I have some questions regarding our current course heading. Why? Because, Miss McNeil, the farther north we go, the rougher the sea. <laughs> Not scared of a little rough water, are we, Captain? You'll uh, have to excuse my former student. She likes to spend her free time drowning. The last position on the shark was due north. And how do you know it'll hold its course? I don't. I just have a feeling. Well, it must be nice being so imprecise with one's own work. Actually, that bugs the shit out of me. But you start with what you know. An instinct followed by a trial, followed by some sort of resolution. Hopefully. What kind of resolution are we hoping for? A bloodbath. All ahead, Paul. Everything appears to be working as planned. We continue to follow a northerly heading. From the data you sent, it appears our friends have a longing for cooler climates. Well, it sure looks that way. Unusual, though. Neither has followed any kind of consistent pattern. Yeah, but somehow it makes sense. How do you mean? They seem programmed to intersect. The intersection of individual paths, random or calculated, is what creates and destroys. The universe itself was born of such intersection, and the events of our daily lives are formed by same. Or destroyed by the same. True. Still, whatever our future holds, I'm very glad our immediate paths have crossed. Indeed, it's been a pleasure. There are some words from Julius Caesar. If we knew this day's end, there it come, but suffice that it will end. And then the end will be known. But if we meet again, why, we shall smile. But if not? Then this parting was well made. I gotta confer with the navigator. I think a lot about that night. Me too. Anytime I go to sweep up. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Everyone to the bridge! Put it on speaker. Uh, uh, what is it? What's going on? Sounds like Russian. Ah, it's a distress call. They're under attack. Who's under attack? I thought all shipping lines were closed. Captain, I'm getting confirmation of the hijacking of a Petrox oil tanker off the Finnish coast three days ago. Petrox refused to pay the ransom, so they killed the crew. Moskoy monster. The screaming sea monster. Yeah, well, it sounds like the creature's policing them up all right. Captain. I suggest you plot an intercept course immediately. Now, if we're lucky, he rest after his meal, and we can get ahead of him. Let him get a whiff, maybe even get him to chase us. Chase? Fix on that transmission. Plot us the course for intercept. Check that crew's ready battle station. Pirates? Cooked well done.
Which creature did that? Impossible to tell from the damage. We still floating that lure. Every 15 minutes, just like you ordered. Good. Now, if he shows up, we floor it. Maybe he's split. Maybe. Die! Die! What the hell's going on? Strap yourselves down! He's right on top of us, Captain. All ahead full. Hi, hey, Captain. All ahead full. is unacceptable. I want that commander on report. That commander saved your ass. Should have done so in a more timely manner. Send another volley, will you? Let's keep it at bay. I thought you wanted the bastards to follow us. I do, but I don't want them to be that close. Aye, aye, sir. Ships. Destroyed by octopus. Octopus? Well, well, where I are radio you? the packs. You can reestablish comm. All communications dead, sir. Reestablish communications. Try again. Aye. Captain, octopus approaching. 300 meters off the port bow. Right full rudder. Right full rudder. Aye, aye, sir. Captain. Not now, doctor. Captain. I know these waters well. There's a massive ice trench not 50 clicks from here. Ice trench? I researched there. It's hairy, but we could lose them in that maze. Right. We'll never outrun them in the open sea. Target closing 100 meters. Engage emergency turbos now. But, sir. We'll overheat the engines and crack the core. Tell us when that's in order. Engage emergency turbo prop now. Emergency turbo's activated now. All right, sir. We don't go hot, people, and gain ground. We're dying right here. Speed increasing, sir. Engines holding. Roger. This is from target increasing, Captain. Plot us an immediate course for Perry's sled. Aye, aye, Captain. Doctor, we've detected long-range disturbances on our scope. Multiple Seawolf-class signals near the Arctic Circle. That must be them. Followed by severe disruptions that may or may not be explosions. Explosions? Also, my latest reading displays only one visible C-class wolf submarine. The rest vanished. Only one. Radio Baxter sub. We've tried raising all vessels from Baxter's wolf pack, sir. No reply. It may only be a communications failure, deep water interference, or impact on the communication system itself. Which is up? Possible to know at this time. We must remain optimistic and rush to the aid of whoever has survived. Navigator, plot an intercept course. Make haste. A 
Approaching first trench. Distance 100 meters. Shall I reduce speed, sir? Negative. Hold current speed. Target gone. No sign of the octopus. Shh. Best guess. What's the width of that range? Tight. Bounce backs give me a rough estimate, Captain. Width no more than 25 meters. Sir, target is returned. Looks like the shark. How wide are we? 22.8 meters. Pretty tight. Target distance? 75 meters and closing. Opening 20 meters. Keep her steady now. Oh, Captain. You can't make it. Steady. Captain, he. Keep her steady. Lose it. Speed now. Increase speed now. We're gonna hit the wall! Increase speed now! Negative! You're insane! You're gonna kill us all! Drop your weapon! Trench opening, 10 meters! Target still closing! Drop your weapon! Get back! Get back! You're insane! Picking up a massive underwater disturbance. Two bogeys. Hard to say what they're doing. It's working. They're together. They're fighting. What's happening? Who's got the upper hand? Impossible to tell. It's just a massive sound. <laughs> The targets have separated. They're just licking their wounds. It's not over yet. Captain, the two bogeys are split apart. Both still active. Hey, could we just get out of here and not wait around to find out what happens? Bring us up to Periscope, Dad. Aye, sir. Good job, Sanders. You can handle this? Just like riding a bicycle, sir. Good right hook, by the way. The last recorded audition with the American Sub Pack. Are you sure? There's nothing here, sir. Whatever ship survived couldn't have gone that far. That's to show no reading at all. It's blank. Perhaps he sank as well. No, never. What the heck? Hang on. There's large underwater activity due north in the vicinity of Perry Sled. Of course. The sled. This is where we should head. Are you mad? It's impossible to navigate. And the scope shows there's probably been a massive avalanche as well. Or something else. Set the course, Captain. Sir, both targets have disappeared. What? I don't know. They were on my scopes a minute ago, and now they're gone. Oh, but maybe they've actually done it. They could be diving to nurse wounds, or... Die? Dying would be good. Communications, any luck? 
barely online, short range only. Well, that's something. See if you can raise Shimada sub. Aye. I know these waters. How? I hung out with a bunch of whales here once. Hey, Captain, can I take a look? Yeah. Just when you think there's no logic, that life's just a total random mess. Something hit us! Pulse collapsing, sir! Multiple breaches impossible to contain! Surface now! Trying unresponsive! Open the bins! Get the missiles hot! All right, sir! At this range, you're gonna kill us! Stand down! We need to get to the mini-sub! Captain's pilot's hunt, but we can't lock on! It's swimming too fast! Keep trying! Sir, it's headed right for us! Captain, we need to go! Go, go, go! Go! You can't beat this! You must abandon ship! Go! Go! Get us the hell out of here now, Dad! Back off! Detach now! Sir, it's headed right for us. Fire torpedo. Hang on. Emma, move it. We're not going to make it. Gotcha. What happened? Over there. Holy mother of God. Lock it down. You can't do that. You'll kill us all. Lamar. It's too late, Emma. I knew they couldn't stay away from me. Looks like they finally finished what they started 18 million years ago.
I could stay a few more days. Well, I was thinking maybe I could stay a little longer. What do you mean? I mean, with no more giant sea creatures around, I guess I could stay as long as you wanted me to stay. Well, you know I'm not the stay-at-home-and-cook kind of gal, right? I'm a mermaid. My home is out there. The sea. Just like you. You know, only 8% of the ocean's gone unexplored. Sounds like a challenge. Have you ever seen a pod of whales swim to Mozart? I think I may have to soon. Emma, I see you. Lamar! Oh, no, 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 you have that look. Well, I was thinking... Oh, no, 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 Professor. Finding those two creatures was a once-in-a-lifetime event. Hmm, what's this? Another lifetime. Infrared, but of what? Some sort of organic life. Preserved. Where were these taken? The North Sea. You ready? Hell yeah. You? Let's go. <laughs> Mom.